Hi, my name is Gordon from Gimeo and today we're going to talk about how to add a click to call link to your email signature. Now before we get started, I'll just quickly explain exactly what a click to call link is so you're aware. A click to call link is basically uh, adding a hyperlink to your phone number in your email signature so it makes it uh, much easier for your recipients to contact you by just clicking uh, or, or tapping on the phone number in your email signature. And then what that does is that will automatically open up the dialer on their phone and they'll be able to call you directly um, instead of copying the phone number from your email signature and then going to their phone dialer and then pasting it in and then calling you uh, with the click to call link. They can just tap your phone number in your email signature and it will call you directly. So uh, what I'll do is I'll show you how to add it using Gimeo first. And then after that, I'll show you how to add it to your email signature manually as well. So I'll just open up Gimeo now. So as you can see, I've already got an email signature here. And I want to add a click to call link to this phone number here, the mobile one. So if you just uh, click on it, and then all we'll do is we'll add a hyperlink. So we'll copy this phone number. Okay, and now the trick here is just to add this tell prefix in front of the phone number. And that basically makes it uh, a click to call link. It is just by adding that tell prefix, tell and then colon. Okay, so I'll just show you what I mean. So if we go into that, you can see that my mouse um, changes to the pointer when I hover over that. Um, and that's because it's now a hyperlink. And um, so if, if I was to send this email signature to someone's mobile now, they will be able to uh, click on that mobile link and they'll be able to contact that phone number um, very easily. So as I showed you now, it's quite easy to do it in Gimeo. It uh, literally just takes um, couple of seconds to add that hyperlink in and I'll show you how to do it manually as well now so um, if you if you're not using Gimeo you can easily do it um, uh, doing the, the manual method as well so if we just minimize that now I've got an example signature here I'll just open it up and it's ex the exact same signature so you can see when I hover, hover over the um, uh, mobile phone number there nothing actually happens the cursor doesn't change and that's because it's not a click to call link just yet so we'll just change that so I'll just minimize that and um, what you'll need is you'll need your signature in a HTML file first so I've got an example signature here that I'm using and just um, open it up with uh, something like sublime text which is a, te uh, yeah, a good text editor and what you will need to do is you will need to search for the phone number and that's probably the easiest way to find it in the code and I know the phone number had a 422 on it which it is right there as you can see um, yeah, that's the easiest and quickest uh, way to find um, anything in this text editor, especially in a long HTML file like this. It can be quite difficult to find stuff. So I've actually already prepared a, um, uh, the, the bit of code that we're going to put in. So you can see the span here and the span ends here. Um, so in front of this span, we'll just add this A uh, attribute. And um, you can see here as well that it's got the tell prefix. So that's just a random number that I've put in. So I'll just change that now. And it's important to remember to end that A tag as well. And you want to end it just after the ending the span. So what you've got is you've got the start of the A tag, which goes to here. And then you've got the start of the span tag. And that goes to there. And then you've got the end of the span tag and the end of the A tag. So the href part, you don't really need to worry about any of the styling and all that um, other stuff before it, but the um, href part is the part that is the actual hyperlink. So what you want to do is you want to copy the actual phone number, that, that you know, your actual phone number, and put it in there like that. And then um, what we'll do is we'll just save that and uh, we'll go back into our signature just by opening it up. Um, and you can see now that it's got uh, the tell prefix there and you can basically click on it. So that's how easy it is. It's actually quite a straightforward procedure. There's not too much involved at all, but if you do get it wrong, um, let's say you forget to end um, the A tag or um, you put in some wrong parameters, you can actually screw up the whole email signature and that won't be good because it can be quite hard to find where the problem is later on. So, um, yeah, that's all there is to it. Just adding the A tag with that tell colon prefix in front of it. And that is what you do to add the click to call link to your email signature. Now, if you haven't already, 
give our email signature generator a try. Like I showed you earlier, it's really, really easy to add a click to call link to your email signature. We also have quite a few templates you can choose from. And um, it's, it's a really good tool uh, for businesses that have um, lots and lots of staff um, as you can basically standardize all your email signatures in your company. And um, it also, if you wanted to add you know, a banner to your email signature, uh, you can add it to all the email signatures uh, company-wide. So yeah, thanks very much for watching and see you next time.